What's up? It's your boy Jamal reporting from KSLU Radio Station. Today we're doing a podcast about hip hop called Let's Rap. Let's Rap is a podcast talking about hip hop, the trending topics about hip hop, the new songs, and everything that's really going on in hip hop in the world. So today on Let's Rap, we have two guests, Sherm and Fred. What's up with y'all, man? How y'all doing? Um, how y'all doing, fellas? Good, we good. All right, today what I really want to talk about on this podcast is about hip hop. Like, how do y'all feel hip hop stand right now in 2015, opposed to how they stand in 1996 or the 1990s? I mean, I feel like hip hop is different now just because of the ages. Like, it's, it's evolved. Um, I feel like we we getting back to what we had a bit in the 90s with hip-hop right now with the the thought-out albums and everything. I feel like uh, compared to, to the 90s, I feel like I feel like they've evolved, like he just said, but uh, I think what's allowing them to evolve is production. Right now, I feel like their production level, like as far as musically, uh, what they do in the studio, so making beats and stuff like that, has just been, it's so much different compared to the 90s where it allows a rapper to become multi-dimensional. So I feel like that helped them also, their production work. Right. I understand where you're coming from, but my thing, personally on hip-hop, I don't really care for rappers like with the Migos. Like how they rapping. Like every, it seems like everybody now, they, they don't have origin, like originality sometimes. It's like they always want to mimic each other's flows. Like that, da 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 Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I feel like I don't understand... How like how hip hop came to that state? Like why we why we accepting that to be playing on the radio? Like as mainstream artists. Like what you feel? I personally don't look as like a artist a group like the Migos or artists like K Camp Future or like uh, a young thug, anything like that, Rich Homie Quan. I feel like all of them fall under the category of rap. And I feel like hip hop is a different category. So I feel like for what they do as rappers I feel like that's fine that they rap the way they rap or make new flows the way they make new flows just because of the content of what they bring in, what they rapping behind as far as music, so like uh, what type of beats they're on. And then uh, I just feel like everything has a time and place, so their music fits for what people are doing when they're listening to their music specifically. Man, to be honest, I understand what you're saying, but I feel like that's... I feel like that's a piece of trash sometimes. It's like, come on now. Like, not saying that K Camp, Future, and all that stuff, not saying that they garbage or they not good or nothing like that, but facing, they have a lot of songs that they make right now. I just listen to it because they got a slamming beat. Yeah. And, I, and they got, and it depends on how, when I'm driving around campus or when I'm driving anywhere, I want to get people to, to look. I, like, because they have perfect beats. And when they, it's like, they, they, like, I just feel like nowadays, Music is just more focused on the beats. They can have any type of beat plan right now. As long as the beat nice, you can say whatever you want to say. I, I could have sworn I heard Future make a song about playing in Play-Doh the other day, but the beat was nice. Like, <laughs> I, I feel what you're saying. I mean, I feel like the way I look at it, hip-hop is like more than just a genre right now. It's it's kind of like a, it's kind of moved into a culture, and then like rap is part of that culture. So you get different types of, genres of rap inside of hip hop. You see what I'm saying? So they have like the the hip hop that's still like the nineties and they have the hip hop like the the futures and stuff like that. So it's just it's just like it's still derived from that early stage of just music, but it's it's just different now just because times evolved. Bro, I I I guess but you see, when I listen, when I call hip hop and when I call rap, also is the people like Jay Z's, the Nas, is you know J Cole, Fabulous. Like, I definitely understand that. But peep this: for everything you just said, like those artists, there's always someone of lesser in their in their in their uh, bracket of of like rapping. I guess I want to call it so. Like at the time of of Jay Z and Nas dominating the game, you still had like a um somebody like a just M C Hammer or something yeah, in the night saying, he came out still, he came out with with the hammer dance, you feel me? Exactly. Like so even then they had quote unquote trash music, but like not everybody 
it's either a willing to to listen to everything conscious all the time, and then b but not everybody's willing to listen to all all uh, heavy bass you know hip hop that doesn't have a a message to it. I so agree just because I think uh, like when when hip hop first started, it was like it was made to make people move yeah. to dance and stuff like that. So they had that type of music, and then it evolved into to people talking about what was really going on in their lives, and that, that's when you get the conscious music uh, trying to, you know, and they had, like, certain things just that they was trying to change in the world. Like, well, that, I, I think that's what created the conscious music. Certain certain artists understood they had a platform right. that with their, with their knowledge or their life, that they would bring certain aspects to the world that they, they, they would never be able to bring to before or that no one would pay attention to before because they didn't exist. So, you know, ex- example, Jay-Z and Tupac. We could say Jay-Z talking about life in New York, talking about selling drugs, living in the cold, you know, but then we talk. We have Tupac talking about gangbanging but living in the hot. So, like, those two different things, like, definitely correlate to do two different types of people. So that allows a message to get spread across different ways for different people. Right. Well, I I, I kind of see what y'all coming from a little bit, but I still don't agree with the different artists. But I guess it's really on them. But another thing that's going on right now, hip hop, about this Lil Wayne and Young Thug issue, like, like I feel like I feel like even though they're on the same, what well, they well, they're like in the same label, right? And it's well, like no, not really, not, but. Not, not really, but you know they they still like young money, cash money. They still got money at the, as their last name, so they gotta be somewhat closely no. related. But no, all that's dead. <laughs> yeah, but you know about him coming out and trying to make a, another album, like dedicated to Lil Wayne. But he he taking Lil Wayne's last name. Like Lil Wayne has the Carter Four or the Carter Five, and he trying to skip over the Carter Carter Six or Carter. Whatever the Carter, the, and, and, and young thug, to hit young himself, thug trying to, he's trying to skip over the Carter five and, and make the Carter six. Like I really don't appreciate. Like I don't. Like I feel like I, I feel like this kind of could be a little good for hip hop. Or do y'all? I, or do y'all kind of put that in the category of rap? I don't feel like it's good for hip hop because Young Thug is not a hip hop artist. He's a rapper. I feel Lil Wayne is a hip hop artist at times and a rapper at times. So I just feel like. And, and genuinely, but I feel like for for this situation, Wayne will become a hip hop artist if he had to to rap against Young Thug, and Young Thug won't have the bars to do so. So I feel like it won't help hip hop at all. It'll just make things weird. Real, well, I, I kind of agree, but I I still think it still could be kind of kind of good for hip hop because you know either like you know even though hip hop and rap that's the two. Two things that everybody get confused with, and I can probably be confused about it right now, but I can care less. It's my show. Um, I I think that is good for hip hop and hip hop state right now because on top of that, it's like Lil Wayne actually like has the crown because Young Thug look up to him, but Young Thug wants the crown, so it's like there can be a lot of competitiveness that you know you see him going back at each other on social media, Vine, Twitter, or whatever. I just feel like that's really good for hip hop. Right now in this in this state in 2015, right now. I want to ask you a question. You think Young Thug could rap with Wayne as far as about like a, a actual rap beef, to, like in in the music? To be perfectly honest with you, I don't think so. But Young Thug has a fan base, and they're gonna start a lot of stuff talking about. Oh, Young Thug is amazing. He's this, that, and the other. Or he's that. But to be perfectly honest, nah. My little sister sounds better than Young Thug rapping because it sounds like he's just crying with a bunch of auto tune. But Lil Wayne also do the same thing. Sometimes be whining on songs. But I feel like it could kind of be an even kind of match because on top of it, they got Birdman, the owner of Cash Money. He's gonna be in the mix of everything too. So it's like it's gonna be it's like either way, I cut good. It's gonna get a lot of publicity. But at the end of the day. It don't actually help rap because when it comes to the rap, rapping side of it, Young Thug's gonna I feel fail. Like, I feel like the the control verse did more for 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 competitiveness in hip hop than 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 Lil Wayne and Young Thug just because. I mean he he's calling out the 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 top tier of rappers in the game right now. Kendrick Lamar, 
controlled hip hop the best. Well, you think so? You think Kendrick Lamar is the future for hip hop right now? I'm not saying the future. I think he is hip hop. Oh, you think he is hip hop? Like at the moment, yeah, I think Kendrick is hip hop. Well, well, that's an, uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see. Well, but that's enough time right now. We ran out of time for uh, let's rap. This is Jemai Kelson reporting, and I'm out.